After devastating parts of Florida's coastline, this morning, the remnants of Hurricane Nicole continuing a path of destruction and leaving millions along the East Coast to pick up the pieces. The rare November storm flooding roadways and tangling docks in Georgia, whipping through South Carolina's shoreline and dumping nearly five inches of rain on parts of North Carolina and more than eight inches in its mountainous regions. Richmond, Virginia faced tornado warnings Friday, where this swirling cloud was spotted. Heavy bands of rain and wind delayed some 5,000 flights in the U.S. and knocked out power to thousands in the tri-state area alone. A far different picture in the Midwest, where residents in North Dakota are digging out from a jaw-dropping 17 inches of snow. Back in Florida, even after Hurricane Nicole moved out, parts of the Sunshine State's coastline continue to creep in. This unit has moved an inch since we were here an hour ago. The foundation of homes in Volusia County crumbling. There, an estimated $480 million in property damage. The worst houses aren't safe, and uh, people need to be aware that, that things could still collapse. Nicole made landfall as a Category 1 hurricane, but its impact ranks far higher. Governor Ron DeSantis getting a first-hand look at the complicated cleanup that lies ahead for Floridians, still recovering from the last hurricane's wrath. Definitely going to be a while. It's a bummer. Yeah, hopefully they get the funds and, uh, and they build it back better. And even as conditions improve this morning, officials are urging people to exercise caution, especially if you're heading out on the roadways. Watch for standing water or downed power lines as crews feverishly try to work to restore power. Back to you guys. Hopefully people will heed that advice. Emily Aketa, thank you so much for your reporting. And let's bring in Samara Theodore for a look at where Nicole is headed next. And some cold temperatures are headed our way. Samara, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, we're in for some big weather stories. So the last of the rain has moved from here in the mid-Atlantic. As we head through the remainder of the weekend, we're going to see the remnants from Nicole bring early morning showers, not only to uh, areas like Boston, but then we'll start to see that move through Sunday evening into areas like Maine. Another thing is we've got cold air surging in, the moisture in place, and that's going to bring snow primarily to the Great Lakes region. Out towards Michigan, they could see anywhere from 6 to 8 inches of snow into parts of Pennsylvania and the Ohio Valley. So let's talk a little bit about this cold air and the culprit behind it. So we have this deep jet stream trough that's ranging across the country all the way from Washington down into Texas and out towards New England. That's going to allow some cold air to really surge down from the Arctic, and as a result, result, we're going to continue to see temperatures dropping into the 30s in some spots, the teens and others. We're talking 10 to 30 degrees below the average for this time of year for the bulk of the country. Here's a look at some areas that are under freeze and frost alerts as we speak. Areas like Lubbock, down towards Brady, Dallas, Oklahoma City, out towards Shreveport, and uh, even Jackson, Mississippi, all have freeze watches and freeze warnings. That's 10, I'm sorry, 16 million people impacted by this cold weather. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.